How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy mail and hauls, fountain pens and fountain pen ink. And sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And without further ado, I have a haul. Pretty much all from Amazon except for one from eBay. Um, all related to Jane Austen. So let's just get started, shall we? We'll just go one by one. And I think I'll bring you down now a little closer. And we'll start with this one. This is the tiny book of Jane Austen. And it says Insight Editions here. So it has a cover. And it's a little itty bitty book. How sweet is that? I just about died when I saw this. So the contents read, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Emma, North, Inger, Abby, Persuasion, Lady Susan. That's it. So they're just little quotes. Oh, look at that. With the fountain pen and the nibs. Gorgeous. Very inspiring. So these are just little quotes. I like to incorporate quotes and things of that nature into my planners and my art journals. So I thought that I could use this in that capacity and just, you know, hand letter some quotes. Because I'm really into the, and it even has a little bookmark. I'm really into the Jane Austen analog script ledger vibe lately. And I do like to mix things. So I will do that and then I'll pop in a kawaii sticker, as it were. So I thought that would be fun to try. And then next, along the same vein, this is called a book called What Would Jane Do? Quips and Wisdom from Jane Austen. And I don't believe they had a publication date listed in here um, for when this was put together. No, it doesn't say. But you can just, I just, this popped up. I wasn't looking for this. I just um, put Jane Austen into my search and that was one of the things that came up. So this one gorgeous really pretty I like this wallpaper vibe Potter style New York publishing crowpublishing.com and this is copywritten 2014 how to be happier than you deserve. Next week I shall begin my operations on my hat, on which you know my principal hopes of happiness depend. Letters. So basically this is another book of quotes, and it even has a bookmark as you just saw, um, right there. And so this will be another way that I can incorporate some quotes into my art journal and my planner. And there was a lot to choose from, so I really had to narrow it down and I got quite a few things still in yet. Okay, and this one is called The Daily Jane Austen, A Year of Quotes, edited with a foreword by Devani Lucer. And this is a paperback. And this is copy written 2019. So this is basically, as it says, 
a daily thing that you can read. There are several books like that, like this out there, but this one is Jane Austen related. So, so this is um, January Pride and Prejudice, eighteen thirteen. So the first, second, third, you get the point. So it's just a little quick thing that you can read daily for the year. Okay. So I thought that would be fun. And also, again, I can incorporate that into my art journal. Okay, so next up I have Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice and book, quiz book, rather, by Kay Carpenter, complete novel plus quizzes, crosswords, and word searches. And look at that artwork on the cover. That is so gorgeous. And she has her little quill pen. This is the back. So you do get the complete novel of Pride and Prejudice in this book. 61 chapter quizzes, 30 crosswords, 31 word searches. All 120 plus pages of puzzles have been written specifically for each chapter. So that is nice. So there's chapter four and you have a little crossword puzzle. I love that. So I like interactive reading personally. I always have my notes. I take my notes. I always have a pencil with me when, no matter what I'm reading. Um, unless it's a magazine, then I'll have uh, some sort of a pen because if it's the material of the paper, won't take the pencil. So but anyway, the point is, is I always take notes when I read, always. And look at that, that is so pretty. I just adore that so much. Okay. And it, and the font is actually big. So if you wear glasses, well, at least for me, I wouldn't have to wear them when I read this. And here's a word search and a quiz. So you get the point of that. So that's going to be fun. And then next, look at this beauty, a book to table classic Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice the classic novel with recipes this time for modern tea time treats by Martha Stewart oh I did not realize that I didn't even pay attention so you know right off the bat this is going to be excellent I have several of Martha Stewart's cookbooks I have for years Her apple pie with the cheddar crust is to die for. Just saying. You should absolutely try that recipe if you like apple pie. So this was copy written in 2018. Okay. Beautiful. And the pages are very glossy. So volume one, you get sugar and spice cake, Linzer hearts, cream scones with currants, rosemary pound cakes, Petite fours, and so on and so forth. Absolutely beautiful. I love all of the art in this book. That is gorgeous. So they put a quote on that pastry. So again, you know, you read novels over and over. I know I'm not the only one. Uh, so it will be, it's kind of fun to have different um, variations of things to incorporate. Like this has recipes and the other one has just puzzles and things of that nature. So I'm really looking forward to this. Just do a quick little flip. Just beautiful gingerbread icebox cake. That is stunning. So I am really looking forward to this. I don't know which one I will do first, this one or this one. 
or it may be a different one altogether. Okay, and then next I have, let's just go with this one. This one is Pride and Prejudice and Puzzles by Richard Galland. Ingenious riddles and vexing dilemmas inspired by Jane Austen's novels. So, let's see. This was published in 2019. Nice. And the artwork, I perused this. Look at that thread. I love it. Um, it's gorgeous. Now, this book in particular, I bought doubles of. That way I can rip out pages and make like covers for my planners or incorporate it into my art journal. And look at that dip pen. I love it. This is right up my alley. But I would for me and my personality, I there would be no way if I didn't get a double of this book that I could bring myself to rip it up and use the images. So I opted to get two. Just beautiful. Look at that. So if you were into planners and art journaling and things like that, this would be a great addition. And it's inexpensive. So I don't mind doing it. Okay, and then next we have show you this. This one we'll go with next. Now this is called Search and Find Pride and Prejudice. And this one I also got doubles of. It's quite lovely. Um, as you can see. And it's a very thin book. So this was printed in 2017. Illustrated by Amanda and Wright. Original story, obviously, by Jane Austen. Reto retold by Sarah Powell. And the artwork in this book is so cute. So, again, like I said, I bought doubles. And that way I could use this in my art journal and my planners. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's glossy, so it's nice. Um, very nice. And just right for what I was after. Now, there is quite a plethora of different books like this out there, but these are the ones that I got um, to serve my purpose. Look at that. Now, again, like I said, I wouldn't have been able to rip this up if I didn't have a double of it. So that is why I went ahead and did that. But it's really, really beautiful. And what better way for someone who loves to play with paper than to cut out and make covers and dashboards and dividers with Jane Austen as your inspiration? And if you're a fountain pen lover and or vintage fountain pens, because I've gotten into that as of late, then you are just going to love using books as your ephemera. Okay, so that's that one. And then next, we have this one. I got one coloring book. This is called... Color Me Jane. Bring you back down so you can see better. Because this is a smaller book. A Jane Austen coloring book by Jackie Oatley. Includes eight pull-out frame table coloring posters. Look at this. Beautiful. You could definitely use this as a divider. Make a divider out of that. Even this. And then just put whatever in the middle. Beautiful. Or you could just do the coloring pages and leave it intact. But again, I went ahead and got this 
to use as in my planners and art journals. That's all the latest trend. I think it's a fantastic idea. Because not everybody makes die cuts and stickers and things of that nature, ephemera, um, with Jane Austen as the main attraction. It's certainly a niche, as it were. And these are really nice drawings. I love this. Look at that. If it'll focus. Beautiful. She's at her secretary desk and she's got a slope and her fountain dip pen and her ink. Beautiful flowers. So anyway, that is why I got this book. Oh, and the tea. Beautiful. But indeed, I would rather have nothing but tea. And that's from Mansfield Park. 1814, her book. See? Beautiful. So you can leave, your, leave it black and white, or you can just color it in. And then this is my eBay item, and this is a trivia game. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice Trivia Game. Bonus. Eight Jane Austen trivia questions. 300 trivia cards with questions directly from the novel. Questions use authentic old English spelling. A great game for Jane Austen fans of all ages. Now, this was a used item, but as you can see, this package is sealed, so it was brand new. And it was like half the price compared to Amazon, so I just got it off of eBay. It was com it's completely sealed, so someone bought this and just put it on their shelf and didn't use it. So... Contains 300 trivia cards, a score pad, one die, and your instructions. So I thought that would be fun. And then, last but not least, P.S. de Resistance. This book I pre-ordered, and it just came out this week. And this is called Jane Was Here. An Illustrated Guide to Jane Austen's England. By Nicole Jacobson and Devin Dayton. Illustrations by Lexi K. Nilsson. Beautiful. It's quite a small book. Look at that. Beautiful. I love that. So you could definitely tear this out and use it. Now, if you're okay with just doing that, you go for it. But I have to have two. If I'm going to rip one up, I have to have two. Um, because I won't be able to do it otherwise. So the contents. Introducing Jane about this book. Which Janeette are you? Meet the Austins. Timeline. What you'll see. What you'll need. Map of Jane's UK. Ways to travel. And then London and surrounds. The South. Seaside. Bath and beyond. Peak District, and East Midlands, and an index. So look at that. Oh, I love having the quotes here, of course. Look at how cute this is. This is just outstanding. I love this. The book purist. Gorgeous. So if you're a Jane Austen fan, this is a fun little trivia book. And again, you can use it for ephemera. And look at this. How to sketch and paint on plain air. Gorgeous. That is super fun. I am glad they included that. That's a nice little treat. I like that.
Crypt Trivia. So, and then there's The Way Back. And this book is brand new, so it just came out. Just got it this week, so I cannot wait to get started. And I've been waiting for this one to come in so I could just show you everything in one foul swoop. So that's why. Because these had the other books I showed you and um, the game had already come in long before. But I was waiting for this one. So I'm super happy I got this one. I was on the edge about it, but looking through it and just perusing it, which I saved and just did just now. I'm super happy that I got it. So, all right, guys. That, my friends, is everything. If you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope this motivates you guys to read any of Jane Austen's novels. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. Peace out.